Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial of light flickering. This asset helps you flicker any type of light in your game. The type of light can be a spotlight, a point light, or even a directional light. Light flickering will get the job done. So let me show you my scene. As you can see I've got an empty scene right here with only a volumetric light that shows two objects, a bed and a chair. And this light really doesn't flicker, it doesn't do anything, it's just a simple point light, a spotlight. Uh, so let's make this light flicker. I'll choose the spotlight, game object, I'll add component, light flickering. As you can see I've got on start enabled, so the system starts on game start, and then the light source, we need to choose the light source, which is this one, I'll drag and drop, and I've got, or, or by default, the system has got the randomized flickerings already enabled. So if we press play, the light flickers in the scene, as you can see. But there's a problem, the light bulb is still on. We need to do something about this. Simply click on change material, choose the bulb object, which is the sphere I've got here, and then the new material you want to change to, you want to change to, yeah. So I've got a bulb material here, bulb off. So the game object uh, material will get changed to this one when the light flickers, when the light is off. Now, now it's a lot better. The light bulb changes the material. We can play an audio, so let's press on this, and then choose the audio that I want. Electric buzz. This audio, this audio clip comes with a package, by the way. Now, if we press play, right. Now, there's also the fade effect. We can use a fade effect that smoothly fades the light instead of turning it off instantly. So let's try this out. I think it would be better if we disable the audios right now. Fade 2, what if I uh, set the fade 2 to 0? That means it'll be completely dark. It'll fade completely to, to black. We can make it faster. The fading is now a lot faster. And we can make it a lot slower. Right. Now, if we disable randomized flickerings, you'll find that a new property has appeared called flickerings. This is where you can manually set your flickers. We can add a flicker. So what's the, uh, the, uh, the time uh, before the flicker uh, happens. So for example, I'll add two, I'll add another one. I want the first one to stay for a second, the second one for uh, let's say 0 0.5 seconds. Right? Now let's try it. One second, you see? The light stays on for a second and then half a second and so on and so forth because I've got loop enabled. Uh, there's also the lightings uh, property where you can actually change the light between each flicker and you can also change the bulb material depending on the color you need so I'll add two colors a red and blue one uh, I'll not be putting the bulb materials right now but let's try it I'll also enable randomized flickerings to make it more uh, you know spontaneous you see can play the audio again. And we can also use the fade effect with these uh, different colors. So for example, let's say we'll do it like this. And yeah, Thank you for watching, guys.